Hi friends, welcome to Zero Entire that is all about the earth. So today I am going to share a video on the structures of igneous rocks. So igneous rocks are nothing but the cooling and crystallization product of the magma. And magma is the molten material of the rock. When such rocks are formed, then these igneous rocks show some structures. In this video I am going to share what are the different structures present in the igneous rocks so if you like my video share and subscribe my youtube channel that is you entire so there are different structures so we will see first that is the flow structure in side figure you can see when any igneous rocks consist of parallel or sub parallel bands or sticks of magma flow then such type of structure is called as flow structure see in this uh, side figure. Next structure that is the reaction rims. The reaction rims type of structure found in igneous rocks. What happens when magma comes or coming on their surface or erupt on their surface? What happens when temperature is decreases during cooling of the magma? The first crystallized mineral react with remaining melt and in this way the compositional variation is found. This compositional variation in the magma or in the rock called as reaction rims. So these reaction rims are again classified into two types. One is the corona structure and other one caliphatic texture. In corona structure the primary reaction is taken place. Whereas in case of is formed by the primary reaction mechanism in the magma. Whereas this caliphatic borders are formed. This caliphatic borders are formed due to the secondary processes that is the metamorphism. So this is the second type of uh, structure. Now we will see third type of structure that is the genolithic structures. Geno means foreign. Lithic means rocks. Third type that is the genolithic structures. See in figure. What happens? When magma comes on their surface during its journey, the foreign material collapse in the magma. Sometimes what happens that primary material dissolved in the magma. So automatically the composition of magma changes. That is a complete reaction we can say that. If the incomplete reaction is there, partial part of the foreign material is dissolved and remaining as it is in the magma. Such structure is called as Xenolithic structures. So, inside figure you can see how xenolithic uh, structure look like. So, formation of diamond, it is found in the as a xenolithic mineral or xenolithic structures. Okay. Then fourth type of structure, vesicular structures. Vesicular structures means magma is composed of so many gases, volatiles and that is the liquid magma. What happens when magma comes on the earth surface and cools the gas which is present or gases which are present in the magma slowly so these volatiles or gas escape from the magma and the cavities are formed small cavities vesicles like cavities are formed such structures is called as that is the vesicular structures very good example of vesicular structure is the basalt deccan basalt shows very good uh, this vesicle vesicular structure in basaltic rocks then fifth type of structure that is the amygdala structures amygdala structure it is also found in basalt rocks so what happens Magma, it is already I mentioned, it is composed of um, volatiles, gases. What happens then when volatiles escape from the this magma and these cavities are formed, after some period, the secondary fluid deposit in these cavities and there is a formation of new minerals in that cavities and the structure in the rocks looks like a amygdaloidal and the structure is called as amygdaloidal. 
so it is like a almond shape so therefore such type of structure is called as amygdala structures you can see inside figure side window of this uh, video now next next structure that is pegmatic structures in pegmatic structures what happens the igneous rock having large crystal size because of the slow cooling and the structure is called as that is the pegmatic structure so on the basis of this so on the basis of this structures we can identify how the rocks are formed so this is the basic theme behind it so i hope this video you understand thoroughly if you like my video share and subscribe my youtube channel that is you entire